Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the LVN mod for Hot Zone 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mussolini Lover. He's got quite a chin there. But we're doing our fourth shore now. I don't remember exactly what the last focus I did read with you guys, but I decided to do Libyan Refinery just because I want to get through the focus tree. But our fourth shore. The Libyan colony is ready to become an integrated part of the metropolitan Italy. We'll extend full citizenship and welcome Libya as a new Italian state. Now we get cores. But if we do that, we do lose Royal Corps of Colonial Troops. Losing Africa means the end of our colonial army. So we will lose 3% recruitable population, which really is not worth doing our fourth shore. I'll be honest. It's really not worth doing this. But we're going to do it anyways. Now, when we do that, we will no longer be, be able to reinforce these divisions, which sucks. But we still have them for now. And maybe we can integrate them and use them until they all die, basically. So let's do that real quick. Rodolfo Graziani. Very nice. And now, um, there was a comment saying, like, well, we got a couple comments to go through, but, like, if you got rid of all kinds of influence, you might just have enough for, uh, influence for our party, but we already have enough right now, which is really nice. So, the triumph of the F-word. With the recent victories of F-word in Europe, we have proven that F-word is superior ideology. Benito Mussolino proclaimed Italy and all its Italians as victors of the war. It's now time to secure all power for Benito and remove the lost obstacles to supreme authority. Might as well. So we did integrate these guys, but we did finish up Ascari del Cielo. Four com- oh my gosh. What's the point of this if it's only four combat width? Holy crap. But, unfortunately these guys are all gone and... Yeah, even- like we didn't even annex any of these, uh... Like when we annex them, we don't get any of their templates. Or we get the templates, but we didn't get their divisions. So, what's the point? That's why I decided not to like return those divisions to those other people, so... Um, I guess we don't have them unlocked. Yeah, we can't even add anything on here. That sucks, bro. That that major suckies. But I do want to go to war with the Soviet Union, so we'll see what happens, cause well, we'll see what happens. I mean, they're not they're not weak at, at all, but like we're not strong. Oh no! Oh no! Did my finger slip? Oh no! Where were so where were the Soviets? Oh boy! Oh boy! Would we be able to win? I honestly have no idea. Uh, doing a general attack is probably a bad idea, so I want them to attack us and see what happens. Oh hello! Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is quite bad. A lot worse than I imagined. Um, mm, let's do that. <clears throat> but why do it like this? Just because we can. I didn't realize I had so many divisions here. That's pretty darn bad. Oh, I forgot about this front too. Oh, well. Crap. Well, let's even go on him. Division for division, we should be able to win. Technically. So... Yeah, we'll see. We will definitely see. Yeah, this is looking like a gigantic mess. Oh my goodness. Please move on down there. You're going to get attacked like crazy, but that's okay, A okay with us. And if you can't win, that's okay. Because we could use a little bit more of a struggle. Right? Right. Um, yeah. As long as you guys are up there, that's fine. I mean, we, got plenty, we got quite a few allies, so hopefully we can use them quite well. Just worried about the Turkish front, which I did completely forget about, but whatever. Our allies will plug up the holes, right? Right? Right. Yeah, this is not good. Over here, I'm not as worried about it, but even though we will need to mobilize more immediately, just because, uh, yeah, we're demobilizing, but now we're mobilizing once again. Oh boy. Oh boy. But you'll be fine. I'll bet I'm not worried about you. I'm more worried about these guys, man. I'll be honest. Go in if you possibly can. If you can kill them off, that'd be great. Because we are pushing this way a little bit. They didn't have that many soldiers on the border earlier before we started re-recording, but... Oh, well. We're definitely going to need more fuel, though. Once these guys are gone, I'll send the guys over this direction, maybe, and hopefully beat them up that way. Maybe, we'll see. I don't know. Because we're still fighting in Africa here, which is just god-awful. I hate fighting in Africa so much. Get some more fuel that way as well. But once Africa's done, then, then we can really focus on the Soviet Union. But I figured, you know what? Attack while they're still here-ish, sort of. Uh, maybe. Mountain fighting is really bad for tanks, but whatever. 1v11. Can you actually win there? You actually might be able to. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. See what you can do. See what type of magic you can come up with. Because we are advancing. Don't get me wrong. We are advancing. This front won't be bad if we can just cut through theirs pretty quickly. Which we are doing relatively okay. I mean, we're going to lose quite a few guys attacking, but... Yeah. That's what we're here for. But other comments include, do Kaiserreich Serbia? We'll see. We'll get there eventually, maybe. We'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. Um, overall, we seem to be doing relatively okay-ish. Can you actually win there? No, you cannot. That's okay. okay. Uh, anything else? Air Doctrine. We are now done with our air. 
Uh, let's grab some more naval bombers because we could probably honestly use that. Romania is doing quite well. Casualties for us include 1 million, but really 109,000, 110,000 versus the Soviets, which is not good, but we killed off a third of a million of them, which means nothing since they have so much manpower already, right? Yeah, 5 to 8 million means nothing. Stockpile wise, they have quite a few guns. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, we probably close out of this thing. That's fine. Escalator investment. It's fine. Whatever. Don't really care. Um, don't really care about this one. Royal Roman ambitions. We'll talk about that later on. Foreign influence, stuff like that. It's fine. Ah, Benito Mussolini discharges the king. Benito Mussolini led an armed brigade of black-shirt loyalists in the Villa Savoia, the residence of King Victor Emmanuel III, placing him under house arrest with an armed guard. The king was escorted to Quinero Palace, where he would formally abdicate his crown and sign over all constitutional powers to Benito Mussolini. In exchange for the abdication, the king was also allowed to leave Italy unharmed, taking the royal family with him into exile. Benito Mussolini addressed the nation via radio address, proclaiming that the final triumph of fascism has been achieved and the king's weakness would hold Italy back no longer. Hail Benito Mussolini, Imperator d'Italia. Oh, a lot of people retire. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks right now. We really should not have done that, but well. Well, no. Don't suck. Too hard, man. And the tank general. Well, crap. Uh, no one else does tank stuff here. Well, god dang it. You're pretty good on attack, though. So we'll use you. Now, we can do either one of these two. That's why I saved it. Um, Honestly, I don't want to do either one right now. Just because I want to get through the war with the Soviets first. And then see what we can do. Yeah. And then we'll, then we'll see. Because I don't want to make a choice right now. So, we're not going to. Oh, look at that nice flag we have, though. Uh, suppress subjects. Hmm... Uh, Air production, naval production. What is air like? Is air okay for us? It, it's generally okay. Fighters, carriers. Uh, we got plenty of that. Uh, what type of subjects do we have? We only have two. Well, we could probably integrate them, I suppose. We could suppress them. Suppression is always nice, right? Of course, once the war with these... Well, at least the, once these battles are done, this, this will be fun over here. But, like, then we'll send these guys on the main front and just start encircling and circling and circling and circling and circling, so... That'll be fine, and you are done. There you go, nice. Yeah, just push this way. We've got to find ways to push into these guys. That's fine for now as well. Um, oh, wow. We really changed Italian Social Republic. Not bad. Italian Social Republic. Oh, and there's a Republic there too. We're still doing relatively okay this year, though, which is nice. Do we have those? We still have these divisions, yeah. It's not an active combat. So some of them are active combat, whatever. Uh, with these divisions, though, we should probably be able to push through here. I want to get through the Caucasus quickly, but that didn't work out so quickly for the Germans, now did it? And you're not a puppet, which sucks. So whatever. We've lost 1.12. Uh, 170,000 of these guys. We killed 700,000 Soviet boys, though. Which, obviously, doesn't really matter too much since, I mean, they're not... They don't care about the men, but still. We can still remove Benito Mussolini, though. Just casual suppression is okay. Just casual suppression. As we're trying to make more divisions too, but whatever. Nice. There you go. That should definitely make you win. Um, do us guys here doing stuff here? Yes, we do. We have a lot of guys around here. A lot of spies. Um, go. We have someone there. We have someone there. Go down here. Really make sure that they cannot do anything against us. It, oh, god dang it. Are you kidding me? Bro. Oh, another tank division. How nice. He's doing fine over there. You guys are doing fine over here. Uh, just let it rip whenever you can. Kill them all off if you possibly can. Yeah, not bad. 800,000 died. That's pretty good. Get some of that. Get some of that going. We're going to need some more fuel, too. Um, Iran... Nice. That should really help us out. As well as Romania. There you go. Should be more than enough fuel for now. Oh, we've got some more garrisons as well, which is very good. Good. Doing relatively okay-ish. Oopsie. No, I still don't want to go with the Japanese, man. Sorry. And now neither side can give us that much fuel. God dang it. Uh, yeah, these guys. That'll be good. 
So the Vesta Polo would be nice as well, but we can wait a little bit first. Alright, so 1.35. We've lost 200, a quarter million versus almost a million. It's awesome. Poland just refuses to die for now. Dolfo, anything here yet? No. I'm mean, winning really well in the Ukraine for some reason. I do not understand why we're doing so well down here. Because I need you guys to come down this way. I need you to break through here. Uh, actually, come come to Poland. We're gonna reverse Poland. Go that way through Poland. Nice. There goes a the sub. All right, Iran. Why? And we're still out of manpower ourselves. God dang it. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that too much. They're still trying to shoot down our ships. Makes sense. Uh, you guys come over here. Do that. And you guys over here. There you go. Do the best you can. Anything else here? Oh, yes. 1944. And get some of that stuff. Gets more output soon as well. We are really racking up a lot more casualties. But we're doing a lot more of them too, so. One million have died. What's the infantry equipment like? Five, seven million. Well, they haven't really taken a hit to that too much. But they're completely out of fighters, though. So we should have absolute air superiority at this point. They got a lot of fighters in Poland, too. Let's go. Bring it. Force the attack. You've got to win here right now. Once Poland's gone, I think that's what, that's the main thing that's holding these holding us back is Poland, Poland and Sweden. <clears throat> Good. Oh, we're getting invaded in southern Iberia. Oh, that sucks. Oh, don't let the Allies get an invasion in there, man. Come on, Brosifs. There you go. And there you go, too. A lot of guard. Oh, we have nobody here, too. Uh, there you go. Come on, Poland. Just die. You don't have any equipment. You have almost like no divisions. A million. We take probably one and a half million. Yeah, 1.63. Uh, 1.1 million. Probably set the attack soon. We have a lot of guys help cover the line anyways, so... We don't need to be all over the place. So, let's consolidate our lines a little bit more. Something like that. Be simple. Because, god dang, they are pushing hard that direction. Jesus. Those torpedoes are nice. Come to our loads. Best we can. That'd be good. And... I know I could be doing this a lot more efficiently, but, efficiently, but whatever. Uh, Nickel Bomber 3, Nickel Bomber's nice. Uh, they'll cover that up soon. They're still slowly advancing through here, but I'm not really too worried about that. Africa is looking a lot better. It's probably worth taking a lot of the casualties as well. Oops. Oh, I forgot about the agent. Oopsie. Well, are we still mobilizing? We really should be, yeah. Um, take you guys, go on the line. But then, give her to the other units for now. We'll be fine. We'll make them. Because what are we missing? Anything gun-wise? No, we're just missing map power. We're getting the field. And they're attacking us, too, so... They need to be taking... This is... No. I'm sorry, but if they're fighting in mounds like this, they need to be taking more attrition than this. This is not fair. 100% not fair, man. I don't know how the Soviets can still push and fight with literally nothing but guns. No artillery. Literally just manpower and guns. No, no planes, nothing like that. Makes literally no sense. Just push in. 
Just win. Especially when they have no planes here. Get more intense, get more intense, bring it to them. My god, why do you take so long to move? Yeah, at these late stage, late, late game, like, wars, it's just not fun. It's just not fun. It's just a mass of bodies just attacking each other just constantly. It's just not fun. It's, I, mean, I hate that we have, we have supply issues here. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, I'd love to build up in here, but... AI is so stupid that it's like, nope, we won't let you build anything in here. You should easily, 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 easily be able to win there. With absolute air superiority. Look how many planes we're shooting down. We don't even have more planes than they do. They have more than us. Good. Make Warsaw fall. Burn it to the ground. Alright, take you. Um, so we could put that in Warsaw itself. No planes. Nothing like that. Go to a dome. How can Poland fight with nothing? Like, no divisions. They got a lot of manpower, that's it. We're 7 million. They're, they're still dropping. Still dropping. Good, they got rid of that stuff over there. Actually, can we request manpower from our allies? The French Republic was, was asking us for manpower before, but... Uh, we're going to support. No, they were refused. They get refused. What's the point of having them as allies? They don't give us anything. Um, yeah, there's not much we can do about that, but whatever. Okay, how much more do we need to kill off Poland with? Only two-thirds of the way there? Well, these guys are all in circle now, so that's good. Kill every last one of them off. Go in immediately. Yeah, they should all be dying here. They really, really should be. Especially if they don't have air superiority. Force it. Force the issue. Die, die, die. Uh, no one else has upgrades, which is really disappointing. Huh, you think, that, you think they would have. Good. Kill them all off. Especially Sebastian. You'd think he'd have more influence here. Oh, you're going to beat us up? Oh, you won't beat us up? Yeah, I don't think so. Stop cheating, AI. The AI likes to cheat on occasion, too, so... Like... Doesn't make any sense. Not that many supply issues. I mean, honestly, like, what is this? 16%? It could be a lot worse. Love cheating. Love, love cheating. Especially when we have absolute air superiority. Doesn't make any sense how we can't beat them here. You're not going to give up the attacks. Keep the pressure on until they literally cannot move anywhere else. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. Keep it up. Modern rubber's nice. Get some more output, please. Thank you very much. Go right here, right now. And they all died, as they deserve to. So we've lost basically two million. They lost one and a half million to us. Poland, I don't... It feels like they're just cheating, if they don't like, capitulate there. You gotta go. Good. We lost a lot of guys. Unfortunate. Danzig will be ours. Um, little by one, that's fine. Uh, Venezuela, China, nah, we're okay. I'm not going to join the war against the, the, the uh, Japanese, man. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but I'm not part of the Japanese. We could use our puppets division too, but I don't feel like it. Nope. Nice. Uh, oh, South Africa. Oh, we're still fighting the allies too down there too, which sucks. Fewer fighting is very good too. We got a bonus of that one. Flexible line, might as well. Nice. That's going to help us a lot. Just saving a lot of manpower. So without their ally, Poland, they should really be losing a lot of guys. We've got off a lot of Swedes too. And a few Mongolians, huh? Not bad. You're still repairing or something? Or... Must be. Nope. Any upgrades for you guys? No? Alright. Gotta love fighting in Africa. Or not. I know I don't. We're still advancing though. It's nice to see.
Should literally be having zero supply issues. Come on, keep going, keep going. Uh, do we not get the agent? Yeah, whatever. Uh, come over to there. Oh no, they're spreading through a turkey. Oh no, whatever will we do? How are they not suffering any sort of attrition here? I love it when AI cheats. Gotta love it. Really concentrate your attacks here. And we'll probably get some better supply consumption too. That'd probably be honestly very good. Because they just save a little bit on fuel, and especially if we put logistic companies on tanks and stuff, so. Two point six six is not enough. How many they killed of us? It is not enough. Oh no! It's like a sub. Oh boy! All right, what can we do here? Forty fours. Better already. Nothing there yet. It's better. Dual purpose is better. Dual purpose. Dual purpose. Two is fine. Three is decent enough. Four is fine. There we go. One. That's it. Okay, cool. It's fine. That's all we need. Still mobilizing? Yes, we are. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, look at that. Look how weak they are. Oh, that's Mongolia. Actually, did we get the... Oh, man. Did I not... No, I didn't have to crypt them yet. Oh, okay. You know, you thought... I would have already by now. It's alright, though. Come on. They're literally out of everything but guns. Should have went to war with them when the Germans were at war with them. Now that's looking pretty good around here, not gonna lie. Looking pretty good. Should easily be able to kill them off. Easy street, easy, easy. Alright, so we got plenty of political power. War bonds would be nice. That's war. Uh, we could do that. Let's go with that one first. As we're still suppressing our subjects, maybe we'll integrate Croatia. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. There's so many divisions here that it's sucking up so much supply, which is god awful. Nice. Cool. Doing the best we can here. More damage, please. More damage. Uh, four six million is still not bad. They're starting. To, they're they're rapidly running out of guns. I mean, I don't know how bad it is for us. It's probably not very good. Oh, we're out of guns too. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> All right, let's go with that, and let's already buy that much, so we can at least start making some more guns over there, which is fine. We probably don't need this many naval bombs. Go like down to five or something like that. Just make sure we can keep up with the demand for guns. Keep sinking. Keep sinking. Keep sinking. And how are you doing over here? Mario. Mario. We might start a new task force too. We'll see what happens. And we're doing really well in Austin? Baltics? Something like that? Nice. Got a cruiser armor scheme. That's fine. Do that. There we go. Yeah, we need way more guns, which sucks for us. But we can still capture guns when we fight them too, so. As long as they're out of guns and our allies are still attacking and we're doing okay, that's what matters. That's what matters the most. Alright, so you got supply issues. That's not good. Huh. That's really not good. How many divisions they've left? Around 200 ish. And it looks like for a lot of this, they just abandoned the, the territory. Like. Get that port going. Oh, hello. I'm glad I put garrisons here. Wow, they're actually trying to naval invade us. But at the same time, that's why we put our navy here so we can sink. Oh my goodness, 13 convoys. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. 14. Oh, it's so good. 
Yeah, I thought there'd be at least a 3 million couch because they're dropping divisions. Nice. Very awesome. A couple more con. Oh my goodness, they are. Hello, what is that? Is that a naval battle? Oh, we sunk some stuff. We lost a uh, thing of Bob. That's fine. All right, there's the uh, Swedish fleet. Come on, battleships. Or I guess those are heavy cruisers. Huh? Oh, we sunk their part of the fleet. Nice. I think a lot of our ships are still repairing, so we can't really do much. But hey, you know what? I still think we did okay there. Beautiful. We're still pushing in, though, so... Definitely see. 6, 7,000. How bad is it? 20,000 guns gone? Roughly. Yeah, I don't know what we can really do about it. Keep going on him. We do the best we can with supplies, which we've actually been doing really well building ourselves up here. Uh, get some more radar just in case. Get some more air bases just in case. Yeah, the southern front has definitely slowed down a little bit, but they're still going. But the northern front where we're at, we're doing very well. Alright, so I think at this point... Um, yeah, I don't really want to invade America. Let's take a look at this stuff. Yeah, I just do not care about invading America. Do we have to be at peace for any of this stuff? I hope so. I hope not. Because any state controlled by is in North America. Oh, God, this never sucks. We might have to fight America. Maybe we'll see what happens. Uh... Hmm. I want to at least peace out with the Soviet Union before we keep doing stuff. Hmm. Because I definitely want to come back and do this as well. Someone ever set. Consolidate Mediterranean holdings. Dominate over the Indian Ocean. United Kingdom. India, Siam, Iran. That's not bad. Uh. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. Let's wait. Romanatus, daily autonomous gain. I do want to do both sides. I really do. So what we might do... Ooh, what happened there? Hold on. Look at that. Hey, that's nice. What we might do... Let's, let's win the war against the Americans first, maybe? And then do both sides of the focus tree? Maybe? That would definitely take me some time, but... It might be worth doing. Hmm, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Happy 45, but I didn't realize it was 45 already. So we're a couple of the other guns, but who are they? We got a lot of green here, which is awesome, 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 awesome. You guys are just hung back, having a good old time. Um, take happy guys. That's an even invade. As I say that, I'm getting really hungry for some reason. Alright, anyways. One, two, three. Melmo. Let's see what we can do about that. Flexible line's very good. Any more soft attack? Yes, please. Keep going. We suffered quite a few guys, but we haven't taken out more than they killed of us. Oh, oh, I got Leningrad. Look at that. Yay. Remove Mussolini. Yeah, no thanks. We've lost a lot of subs, haven't we? Oh, we most definitely have. What are you doing? Go over here, you ding-dongs. Uh, there you go. You are expendable. Never forget that. That's why we love you. Uh, cast three. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two. There you go. Ah, sure. Yeah, I could use that stuff. We could really use that stuff. Five. There you go. Hey, Moscow's the front line city. Yay. Yeah. When we concentrate our soldiers, like, we do really well. Um. Carlo Filomarno? However you pronounce that? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so you guys over here. But I'm going to actually send you to Sweden, probably. Just so we can do well when we attack these guys as well. So, I'll sub probably. Yep, that's what I thought. Sink enemy subs, sink enemy stuff. And I know like this is a very inefficient way to do it, but whatever. Don't really care. All right, are you guys good to go yet? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, you guys can win. We're gonna force the attack. 
As long as you win in either one of these two areas, that's all I care about. Uh, since we're here anyways. Oh, Lord Baltic, huh? Fighters. No more casts. Plenty of fighters. Plus air support. Yeah, I got some of that. As soon as you get over there. Yeah, you might still win this green, but you never know. Oh, never mind. Carriers. Cruiser holes. Cruiser holes. That's good. We should have doing a lot of damage to him. You honestly should be able to win here. Like, there's no, there's no. How can you not win here? We're gonna continue forcing attack. Oh, if we needed to, go there. Expand out, expand out. You're gonna, you're gonna stay here. Whether you like it or not, you're gonna stay here and you're gonna die, and you're gonna like it that way. Any more tanks? Yes, please. I'd rather lose the tank division. It's a lonely, it's fine. Go, 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 go. How have you not won yet here? Uh, I think they're doing force defense too. Oh, we lost our tank division. I don't really care. If you don't lose the port though. Oh my god. Will you get over there, you pieces of garbage? You son of a rock sucker. Die, my god. Just die. The Soviet Union is lost. They've completely lost. Like, they can spread through Turkey as much as they want to, but... Yeah, no. Go in here. There's literally nowhere for them to move. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. You should be done by with this by now. They're not that big of a division. Go, my god. Force the attack. Force it if you have to. I don't care. Sweden is not that strong of a power. They really are not. They have 13 divisions. 52,000 manpower. They have nothing. Alright, so you guys are finally all here. I don't know what you're doing that for. Go here. Kill them all off. Uh, they're doing the front lines. I don't really care. Yeah, we're doing really well. Uh, go from here all the way down to there. Ish. Spread a little more. Soviet Union's dead. And maybe that's a really good thing. Cut off a lot of tank divisions, but... Roll over the bodies. Kill every last weed you see. They're not going to have peace and freedom by the time we're done with them. They chose this fate. And they're going to own it. Well, Sweden, you did want this. You did just decide to go communist, so yeah, that'd be good. Uh, over here, nothing really too much. Uh, not bad, not bad. Keep sinking stuff. Yeah, the Soviets are done. They, they, they probably have less divisions than we do. It's pretty nice. One thing I don't like in Hoi 4 is that how do you get rid of... I'm politically connected is not bad, I guess. I'm just thinking about like old guard like if you get enough experience instead of like leveling up you should just be able to remove that trait if you do like really well i kind of prefer that over what we have right now in the game but whatever infantry equipment tanks we got more than enough tanks yeah even though we should really be using some modern tanks but whatever medium sbgs yeah i gotta get some better tanks here yeah at least the french are showing up that's nice Come on, keep winning, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I know it sucks here. Anything else? No, not really. I mean, there's ships, but still. Uh, have you learned anything else? No? Okay. Alrighty. 
You don't need that. Jet engines would be good to get too. Nice. There you go. Pretty good. Now, those, those are all the manpower that we have. Not a lot, but we'll take it. I feel like we're going to lose another tank division here, but we'll see. Yeah, Sweden is... The AI is cheating. It's literally just cheating out divisions, so... So stupid, man. I mean, yeah, I, I know you're supposed to be able to do that, but, like, come on. You have an entire game to do this, and now you do this type of crap? No thanks. No thanks, man. Not at all. Can you guys hurry up and win? Look at that. They have nothing. They literally have nothing. They have 1 to 2 million manpower. Wow. And they have no guns, which is good to see, but still. I mean, they're done, so... Uh... I would like to integrate these guys. We'll see. The French are doing very well. Eh, we'll be fine without it. Anything you learned here? Not too much. Still... Balbo's not learned anything. You guys have learned nothing, which... Oh, you guys are doing nothing here, too, so... Uh, with you guys, go and consolidate. That'd be fine. Same for you guys, since your divisions literally don't exist anymore. Um, go out through here. Come hang out there. Wow. My god. Why does Russia not ever expand its infrastructure? It's so annoying. Logistics for is definitely going to help. Get some of that. Get some of that as well. That'd be great, great, great. Soviet Union, give it up. I mean, this is... You've lost the big three cities. You're losing in Turkey. I mean, all across the front, you have nothing. You literally have nothing left. I go right there, and I go right there. Norkoping. Lapland. From all over here. Oh, China's looking pretty good, though. China's looking doing pretty darn decent. Oh, we've got Oslo. Not exactly what I was planning on doing, but okay. Sure, why not? Ah. So I still kept some ships around here. Keep learning if you can. Ah, Stockholm is ours. Very good. And then travel south. There we go. Let's use it. Attack in Sweden from two sides is very good. Uh, more of that. That'd be good stuff. Oh, hello. Can you explain to me why you decided to kill yourselves off? If you're gonna die, you might as well do this anyways. There you go. And maybe we'll invade America. Unitary, oh, Unitary Canada, huh? Not bad. So much more of Soviet Union, we need 80%, huh? Well, can I, once Sweden's gone, we can actually send our tanks eastwards. It'd be so much better, but still. Ah, uh, it's so annoying killing out these guys. It's kind of boring, honestly, killing these guys off. Let's go here. And how are you losing? They have no air superiority. We have air superiority. I do not understand. Ah, I see now. They can pierce us. Get some modern tanks next. That'd be good. Take Murmansk, take the ports, they won't have anything to do with 
Put that there after that, so it'll be good. Jet engines. Get some tanks. Oh, we don't even have... We're using 1939 tanks. No wonder we're losing with your tank divisions. No wonder. Good God, Romania. You probably have a lot of... Uh, not a lot of supply. We'll put it like that. Can we ask for stuff? Give it to us, please. Yes, 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 yes. At least help out with some of the supply issues here and build up some stuff here and then get some more radar. That helps out. And you, how are you not able to push through here? Are they still have a lot of manpower? No. They have armored cars. They literally have nothing left. The army is completely, almost completely de defeated, so... Yeah, I do wish we had more tanks, though. Hmm. Where are our tanks? They just gave up on Sweden and just went to Norway. You know, it's not a bad idea. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we're at support equipment, too, huh? Oh, yeah, that sucks. Could improve working conditions. Eh, why not? You know what? We could use more stability. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. Like Hungosk. So we've lost, what, 3 million? Not quite 3 million, actually. They've lost 3.3 .3 million, which is still not that bad. Sweden, just give it up. Any more ships? Yes. Come on, Sweden, give it up. Do that and go there. That'll be good. Eh, war bonds wouldn't be too bad. There we go. Finally, thank God they gave up. Thank goodness. All right, so we got that going for us. Uh, maybe some carriers. We're out of manpower too, so that sucks. Uh, we'll change like our manpower levels like later on. I'm not too worried about any of the stuff we just made. Um, so yeah. Is that it? Boy, we do not have stuff ready for this, do we? Better. Better. Not bad. Torpedo 4s? Not quite yet. Get some anti-sub stuff. That sucks. But it's better than what we have currently. Boom, boom. Boom. Should be it. And... Yeah. Engineer 3 is going to engineer 4s. Yeah, we might still kill, kill off America in the next episode. We'll see what happens. Stockholm? No, that's fine, whatever. We've won in Sweden, basically. We basically won the war. I mean, what else can they do against us? Nothing. Skip to the AA line, man. Oh, you guys are here too. Go. Go. Kill them all off. Force it. Seriously, force it. I don't want any other... I don't want Soviets alive at all. Every single Soviet has to die. I guess we got Sweden done, which is nice, because they are considered a major power, so... Stuff. We need heavy guns, buy some infantry equipment, because that'd be good, because we can. Invite ambassadors to Rome. We must extend the invitation to the members of the Latin Axis to come to Rome to discuss strengthening our bonds. 
Nice. Fiat. Let's go to this one too. Mm. We're not going to be using for very long, but whatever, just do that one next. It's fine. Cool. So what you do is come over here and do that. And kill them off that way. You guys are doing fine over here too. Like, we're going to be flooding through here. Don't forget the caucuses. They should. They might actually capitulate, maybe. You guys are not going to Baku. So then we'll go and do. I have to suppress subjects and get more political power, of course. We will continue doing probably one of these two routes. So we'll capitulate them. We'll probably go down the Italianization program first and try that one out. Man, actually, maybe a second. And maybe Romanat Romanatus, maybe? We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, by the time you get to this part in the campaign, it's gonna like, oh my gosh, will it just please end? At least in terms of like the warfare and stuff, because sometimes it gets really boring around here. Why are you taking so why are you taking so long? What's wrong with you? Deep snow, infrastructure. God, the Swedes just cannot build infrastructure, can they? Go. Actually, since you're here. The battleship's nice. Is that a super heavy? No, it's just normal heavy. That's fine. There we go. Start sinking them up there too. Marillo, Balangol. Easily find plenty of convoys up there. Spread it out a little further. There you go. I mean, it doesn't help that we didn't have to start with that many divisions, but like, they're good divisions. There's not a lot of them. Sixty card. Come on, you are 89% of the way there. 7 million losses. Literally nothing left. We were taking all their oil and giving it to the French for some god-awful reason. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Save our political power for now. We might be able to actually annex Croatia eventually. Ah, surrounded and nothing else for them to do except die. Exactly what we love. Sochi. Beautiful. So you guys did pretty darn well. Doing this is probably stupid, but whatever. How strong is America? Because we're going to need a massive navy to fight them off. Uh, they have a lot of ships still, which means we've got a death stack still. we got plenty of manpower, which is going to suck to fight. We're going to definitely need some carriers here, too. Converted cruiser... I don't like the battleship hull... Uh, I'm gonna wait for the next one. Yeah, I'll wait for the next round. We fine. Should be fine, right? Should be. How are you guys doing around here? Honestly, I don't want to use you guys anymore. So goodbye. You guys are what? Twelve? Jesus Christ! You know the man part for you, so goodbye. Goodbye. Should all be the same division type. Fascists, black shirts. Combine. Uh, as much as. Yeah, this. The boat. No, it really sucks. He sucks so hard. You know what? Just go over there. There you go. So now you're left all alone. Um, I want to invade Saudi Arabia. I don't mind invading Iran, but. Mm, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Oh, hello. Destroyers and stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I got little enemy pockets here and there. But throwing on the front lines wouldn't really do much for us, would it? Do we actually invade Iran? How strong are they? 3,000 mind power? Uh, maybe not. You guys? Maybe Saudi Arabia? Fuel-wise, fuel they might we might want that stuff, maybe? Maybe? Cool? Not bad? More ships? Yes, please. Because God knows we're going to need a lot of ships. You know, the tank division is absolutely welcome here. Uh, as long as you're doing something here. Cool? Still doing okay around here? 
They have less than 100 divisions, and they're refusing to give up at 95% capitulation. Ah, <sighs> gotta love Hoi 4, man. Gotta love it. And yeah, I get, I get that they're not pushed back to the Euro Mountains yet, but... Bro. Look at all your losses. There's absolutely no way they could ever recover from this. Um, there you go. That yeah, too. There you go. And boom, boom, but then... Boom, and then the boom, and no. Uh, boom, and boom, and boom. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. 96. Can we be at least 96? Yep, 96. Come on, they're so close. With less than 70 divisions, probably. Guys, I'm not going to go to war with uh, Japan. Are you insane? Are you stupid? They are, yes. Yes, it is. Alright, so a couple other comments if I didn't address them yet. Uh, do Kaiser like Serbia. Do the Roman Union in this campaign. If you ban communism, you could get more fascist support, which we talked about earlier. Uh, can we annex all of your allies in the focus tree? We actually might be able to, since we will have the option to call a conference. So, we might be able to, actually, in the end. Which would be very nice. Don't get me wrong. I would love that a lot. Uh, get some better light guns. Actually, those are super lights. So we can see mediums. And do the Kaiser Redux Fangshin Dynasty. Yeah. Pretty much. Cool. Yep, since we're here. Feeling okay. Feeling a little frisky with these guys. Yeah, how are you losing? I'm sorry, but no. Go with you there, and then get some more casts. An ungodly amount of casts. Which, 400 is not ungodly, but whatever. Just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of planes. Good, good. Okay, so we've lost about 3 million. And they've lost 8 million. We've cut off 4 million of them. Oh, what's the next victory point here? Oh, nuclear bombs are nice. We love nuclear bombs. We like it when they go boom. And fighting mountain sucks. Africa do be looking pretty nice, though. They do be looking pretty nice. Well, we're the Urals now. And we're making nuclear bombs. We might have to bomb, like, Boston or something. You never know. Venezuela and the Netherlands? Cool. We can invade those guys up there. Don't really feel like it. Uh, okay. We're fighting Venezuela, then, too. Liberia, maybe? Yeah, we gotta start, getting, start focusing and going that direction, so... I guess Liberia next. Oh, watch out, we gotta fight those guys too. Oh, watch out. Ah, time for a lot of nuclear reactors, my friends. A nuclear Italy. A fourth greatest power in the world. Well, I guess technically now one. It's alright though. Well, they're 99% of the way there. They're about to give up. How are we doing down in Saudi Arabia? Eh, we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Pretty darn well. Not perfect, but doing pretty darn well. If you go in together, you might actually be able to win. But I guess not, because you guys suck. How much remember do they have? None. Any damage you do, they can't recover from, so... Nice. Oh no, not an agent captured. Where would they get captured, though? Is there any relief point to do this? They're about to capitulate too, so... Probably not. Get level 36. Nope. Not even gonna bother with your booty. A little bit of hangar space, some anti-air, some radar, some carrier engines too are okay. God dang it! Uh. Go up there. Come on. Come on, please. Just a little more. Just literally one more percent. We're already at the Euro Mountains. Oh, do we get it? 
I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this at, at, uh, off screen. So the next episode, we'll begin. And we will go ahead and try probably the... Maybe the Roman Rob? Maybe not. Maybe we'll just invade America. Maybe we'll see, I'll see what happens. But regards, if you enjoyed my frustrations here in this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as you'll see a defeated Soviet Union and hopefully us with a massive army or navy and maybe already invade America. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.